Hi and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we're doing a Christmas Gnome Snow Globe project. This is a great project to do that's very budget friendly. So we're going to gather up our supplies and we're going to start. We have a template available on the site for free that you can grab that has these images of our gnomes. So we're going to print it out and we're going to score the paper and then fold it in half. We're going to glue the two halves together so that we have a nice double-sided image for inside of our snow globe. You can make your own images if you want, absolutely. It's very easy to do. You can just pick whatever uh, images you want to use and print them out and double-side them like this. Then we're just going to cut them out. You want to cut right along all the edges so it's nice and tight and you don't have any of the white left. And we designed this project so that it could be done very easily with a classroom. You can use jars that are recycled to save even more money. And then we're going to laminate the pieces. Make sure you leave those little white feet on the bottom. We're going to need those later on. And we're just going to trim all the extra laminate away from the sides. The laminate is really important because that's what's going to keep our image waterproof inside of the snow globe. So you see we left just a little bit of plastic along the edge so it stays waterproofed. Now we have our jar, and this is just a mason jar. We've taken a polystyrene sphere and cut it in half. Now it's a little big for the jar, so we're gonna take the jar and set it over top of the sphere, and then take a pencil and make a little mark, or you can just press down like we're doing here. There you go. And you wanna make a little mark all the way around so you know how big your jar is compared to the half sphere. Now you're going to cut the sphere at that mark and you want, cut, want to cut just above the line that you made and go all the way around to make sure you've separated it from the bottom. And there we go. And that's going to be the little base that's going to hold our gnomes. So we're putting a little slit in there and that's where those little white feet that we left at the bottom are going to fit in. And we're using a little bit of polystyrene glue here. And we're just going to stick that inside of the lid and you'll see how it just fits perfectly in there so it will be able to close the jar. If you need to, test to make sure that you can still close up the jar properly. Now glue your little gnomes into place and then take some of the glue and smear it around on top of the sphere. We're going to take a q-tip and just smear that glue around. We want a nice thin layer across the whole thing. There we go. And we're going to take some glitter and add some glitter so it looks like our little gnomes are standing on a snowy mountaintop that's just glistening under the sun. There we go. We're just going to let that dry for a few minutes and then tap off any extra glitter. And then we're going to put the glitter back into the jar. There we go, all nice and glittery. Now we're letting that dry. We want to make sure that it sets up and dries completely, so we left it for a full hour. And now we've got our distilled water and our spoon and glycerin. And glycerin is what makes the glitter float around and look like it's snow falling. We're going to work on a plate just so we kind of keep any messes contained and we're going to start by filling it almost to the top with the distilled water. And now we're going to measure in a tablespoon and then a second tablespoon of the glycerin. And now we're going to add some glitter. You want to start with less glitter and you can always add more. It's just really pretty much impossible to take out any glitter short of removing part of your jar or the contents of the jar. There we go, we're putting an assortment of different glitters in there so we have lots of variety. We're gonna give it a little mix and then top it up right to the very top with your distilled water and then slide the lid in with your gnomes and then tighten it up. And it does slosh over the sides a little bit but this doing it this way helps prevent air from getting trapped in. And there we go, our snow globe is finished. 
we're just going to dry it off. And then once we've got all the liquid, we're going to take a little bit of glue and just glue that lid on so we don't accidentally have any leaks. This is a fantastic project to do with your kids this holiday season, and it's great for the classroom. If you're looking for more Christmas STEM ideas, visit steampoweredfamily.com. Have a wonderful day.